Once upon a time, a star fell from the sky. The tops that were born from that star fragment changed shape over the ages and evolved into the modern Beyblades of today. This is the story of another type of Beyblade that evolved independently within that process. This is the story of Bay Wheels. Three, two, one. Crazy talk! Make some sense, Ryan! What's the joke? We're already Team Estrella! We've been fighting to defeat the Dominators, to protect the Bay Wheels world and dream, the organization you yourself created! So how could we become Dominators after doing that? They're right! Tell us why Matthew and Lucy hid the fact that they were the commanders of the Dominators! Explain that, Ryan! <laughs> it isn't that surprising if you think about it. The D in Dream is the same as the one in Dominators. Huh? Both groups, you see, were created by me at the same time for a purpose. What? What did you just say? Oh! I personally scouted the members of the Dominators from all around Destection City. And there, in a special training facility inside the Dream Headquarters, they secretly underwent Bay Battle Training. All so that they would win the Judgment Bay Tournament! Just to be the winners of Judgment Bay? So, you actually set it up so the Dominators would have to fight us eventually! Is that the truth? Of course. That is correct, yes. <gasps> Just what is going on here? With the stadium still buzzing from the excitement of the final battle, Dream's chairman, Ryan, has made a shocking confession. But is it true? Was the meaning of this tournament to decide who would take control of Dream? Say what? That means that either Estrella or the Dominators could have won. It didn't make any difference. Sho and the others were putting themselves on the line to protect our Bay Wheels for nothing. What gives here? This tournament had no point. <laughs> There was a point. This tournament had a single purpose. What makes a truly strong wheeler? To discover that, I needed to make the Dominators, whom I personally trained, and Estrella, who trained freely on their own here in Distinction City, fight each other in a real battle. A very serious battle. And we needed to go about it in a creative way to get you to take it seriously, understand? To see your true power. Ah, so that's the reason you attacked this town's wheelers, huh? And why you tricked Sho and I, so we'd agree to a tournament. And why you gave the Dominators an advantage with the choice of stadiums. It was all to make us angry and get us to use our full strength. <sighs> Did you all know about this stuff, Odin? <sighs> no. Really, Odin? <sighs> Yeah, of course we knew about it. That's why we knew we must not lose the tournament. <sighs> we are wheelers who were created for one purpose. That was to win Judgment Bay. If we lose, we have no value. Even if we had to use stadiums that give us an unfair advantage. Even if we had to sacrifice our own brother. <laughs> Big bro! <laughs> well, now that you know what they faced, don't be too hard on them, okay? It wouldn't have been fair to put all the pressure on you. In order to get the Dominators to fight just as desperately, we had to let them know they would face a severe penalty if they lost. I hope you will at least understand that part of it. Huh? What penalty? Well, it's all over now, isn't it? Since we lost, it's all over. I was a fool to put my faith in you, Odin. If you hadn't have insisted on battling in a normal stadium for the final, none of this would have happened! So what are you gonna do about this now, pal? Uh, huh? Odin! But why? It seems that seeing you all try so hard has sparked something. Odin's pride has been ignited, and you have actually made me more excited about things. However... 
That doesn't change the fact that they lost. No, please forgive me. It's Odin's fault that we lost. It has nothing Whoa, to do with me. Whoa, Jay, what is his deal? Get a uh, this is crazy. I just don't get it, Ryan. Why would you do something like this, huh? I wanted to know things, big things. No matter what it took. You see, the Dominators were trained in a controlled setting with a controlled system, so it's like they were carefully raised in a laboratory environment. On the other hand, you all developed naturally as the Bay Wheels boom spread through to Section City, so you are like organically grown wheelers. The strongest of the gym-built wheelers on one side and the strongest of the natural wheelers on the other. What kind of reaction would occur if those two clashed with their full strength? If they had a full-on Bay battle? Judgment Bay was an experiment designed to find out... An experiment? What? We put everything on the line for this battle. How dare you use us? The results were more spectacular than even I imagined. No matter what disadvantage you found yourself at, you never gave up. And you continued to fight boldly. Not only that, you were even able to draw out all of Odin's incredible power. And then you won. I am truly impressed with you. I admit it freely. You are the strongest wheelers. You should be proud, because the ultimate Wheeler army that I've dreamed about is standing right in front of me! What do you mean, it's standing right in front of you? I don't get it! You can't just play with people that way! Well said! And there's one more thing that I don't understand about this. Hmm? So what if we are the strongest? What does it have to do with you? Show is right. Just what exactly are you trying to achieve by doing all this, anyway? That is a good question. The real plan starts now. Huh? Somewhere in this world, there exists a different type of bay that we know nothing about. What? what? <gasps> Say what? A, a different type of bay that we don't know about? I'm sure you remember that Ryan was once known as a genius wheeler himself. But back then, I wanted something more. My strength was my misfortune. I could not find an opponent who could challenge me, so my heart felt empty like Odin's. How could I meet stronger rivals? How could I have battles that mattered to me? I didn't know what to do, so I went back to the very start of Bays and began studying everything about them, their history, their construction and abilities. And then one day... There it was. I discovered an old text that recorded the very origin of bays. Oh, the origin of bays? One day, a star fell from the sky. Huh? Bays were born from a star fragment that fell from space. And through the ages, they changed shape until they evolved into the form they take now. That is what was written in the text. A star fragment? That is where our bays come from, you say? And I discovered that bay wheels are only one of the unique final forms that were born during that evolution. There are more. That process of evolution created other forms, too. <gasps> our bays are only one of the final forms, you say? It was an incredible discovery! After that, I continued my independent research. <gasps> At long last, I made it to the gate that leads to the world containing the other type of bay! Unknown world. What kind of opponents and battles awaited me there, I wondered. Just thinking about it made my heart race. <sighs> However...
new world of bays lies right here in front of me. I alone will be the pioneer of this new age. After that, that I found out the gate would only open under very specific conditions. Huh? When I got that injury on my hand trying to open the gate, I could no longer battle. Uh -huh. Just when I had finally found some hope for the future, my life as a wheeler was put to an end. Can you understand my sadness, my regret, my frustration, my anger? Oh, Ryan. But even after that, my heart did not waver, and I decided that if I could not hold a launcher, then I would find a new, strong wheeler to take my place and entrust my dream to. That is when I created Dream, and started plans to increase Bay Wheel's popularity. At the same time, I traveled all around Destection City to scout promising wheelers. I wanted the Dominators to be a fitting opponent for the strongest, naturally developed wheelers that would eventually meet them in battle! So you've been preparing for this day for all that time, you say? You sure are persistent. And now you have claimed victory, Estrella. As the strongest wheelers, you have earned the right to cross through the gate leading to the world with the other type of bay! We have what? <sighs> No way! That's not fair! But should we really believe that story? It's not like he has any proof, does he? But if it is true, it would be amazing. Yeah! Bays we know nothing about, a world we know nothing about! Just thinking of all the new people and new battles waiting? You have to admit, it's pretty exciting! Then don't hesitate. So, let's walk into the new future of Bays together. Huh? Ryan! And now, we will use our bay wheels to take control of the bays in the new world. <gasps> control? But what for... <sighs> Isn't it natural for the strong to control the weak? It's how it works. <gasps> Ryan! That's not right! You mean you want us to do the same thing the Dominators did here in that other world? What did you... expect? Huh? huh? I told you that starting today you are Dominators, did I not? So, of course, I'd have you do that sort of job, too. You must be joking! We'd never stoop to doing what you guys did. Yeah, what Leon just said! Huh. We are interested in the bays of that world that are different from Bay Wheels. But we don't want to go there to pick a fight. We want to make new friends in that unknown world. That's how we roll. Huh? I don't understand. What would be the point of doing that? Winning is everything for bays. Bay battling with friends could never ease the emptiness inside me. I know that for sure. What did you say? You must know I'm right. I mean, rather than battling with no hostility in the hopes of becoming friends, suddenly attacking forcefully makes the opponent take the battle seriously too. If we do that, then we can have another battle like Judgment Bay all over again. It'll be all or nothing. A fierce battle that puts everything on the line with never-before-seen opponents and never-before-seen bays as well. <laughs> Doesn't that get you fired up? Nothing else could be more fun, right? <laughs> Ryan! You're mad. Well, I did spring this on you suddenly, I guess. So it's totally understandable that you're confused. You can take some time to think about your answer. Well, not too much, though. Unfortunately, the conditions for opening the gate to the other world will be right at noon tomorrow. If we don't act then, we will have to wait a long time for another chance, I'm afraid. Sorry, but could you please decide by then? What will you do if we refuse? What then? In that case, I will have no choice. I'll just have to have Odin and the others do a bit more work for me. <gasps> huh? Really? You mean it? Well... I really doubt any of you would refuse me, though. Any wheeler who's truly obsessed with bay battling could hardly pass up such an opportunity. I will be waiting at the Dream Headquarters. 
So see you tomorrow. Ah! Hey, wait for me! Let's go now. Uh, okay. Ugh. Huh? Mm. Uh, it's just one surprise after another today! Who would have guessed that this turn of events was waiting after Judgment Bay ended? We all want to know, what will our Team Astraea decide to do? Everything will be revealed tomorrow! I can't believe it turned out like this. No kidding! Ryan's true personality is shocking! I'll say. What's he thinking? Winning is everything, huh? <sighs> Ryan sure lost his way somewhere, that's for sure. It's not really an obsession with base. It's more like a complete obsession with winning at any cost. That's why I don't trust geniuses. <laughs> well, what do we do, Sho? Bays are meant to be enjoyed freely by anyone, anytime, anywhere at all. They are definitely not for forcing others to bend to your will. So right! We all believe that is true! We agreed to a battle with the Dominators to protect everyone's Bay freedom. So then why would we want to do the same thing the Dominators did to everyone? There's nothing to discuss. And we're rejecting the offer! But even if we don't go, Ryan still will for sure. He will take the Dominators and do the same thing that he first did here in Distection City, over there in the other world. Well, if that's true, then... then what are we gonna do? Oh, come on! That's what we're trying to figure out, for goodness sake! Don't yell at me, okay? My Leon wasn't yelling! Nicole, calm down. I can oh, yell if you want me to! Huh? Days we have never even seen before. An unknown world. Hmm. One night has passed since the end of Judgment Bay, and the city is bathed in the refreshing light of morning. Of course, we will continue to broadcast events as they unfold, and the time for our team Estrella to deliver their answer to Chairman Ryan draws closer and closer. Will Estrella come to the Dream Headquarters? Will the gate to the New World be opened? We all await the answers! Don't come, don't come, don't come! Hey, Ryan said that if they refuse, he'd use us again, right? Isn't that right? That's what he said, right? So that means we would escape punishment, right? Huh? Right? Huh? Don't come, don't come, don't come! Do you think they will come, Ryan? They'll come, I'm sure of it. Estrella is here! Led by show, the members of Estrella have just arrived at Dream Headquarters! Hmm? Hmm. 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 Yeah! Don't come, don't They've come! They've come! Don't come. Begin preparations for opening the gate. Yes! <gasps> Welcome, I have been waiting for you! Huh? So in the end, you couldn't resist the draw of never-before-seen bays. <laughs> Oh, don't look so suspicious. I am truly welcoming you from the bottom of my heart. Now, allow these guards to lead you to the top floor peacefully, so we may greet the time to open the gate together for our glorious future, my friends. Don't get the wrong idea, Ryan. Never-before-seen bays in an unknown world are still bays, hear us? And bays are not something that should be used to bend others to your will, understand? That is the same in both our world and any world we may find. Listen closely! We have not come here to join you at all! We've come to stop you and your plan! Because we are proud wheelers! Huh. That is...
is a foolish choice. Here we go, guys. Just like when we promised to protect everyone's bay wheels, now we're gonna stand up for bays from other worlds, too. Yeah! yeah! 